Hello guys, welcome to my channel and welcome to the series of deploying on AWS cloud using Terraform. As part of this series, uh, we are going to uh, have practical hands-on for the beginners where you will learn how you can uh, deploy resources on AWS by using Terraform. So let's get started. So if you are new to the channel and not yet subscribed to, to my channel, just go ahead and subscribe it because there are a lot of more content which is coming in very fast. So let's go ahead and start with our part one that is deploying AWS VPC Internet Gateway and associate it with the VPC by using Terraform. Now let me go through the agenda. So as part of this agenda, we are going to deploy AWS VPC, AWS Internet Gateway and then we are going to associate AWS VPC by Internet Gateway. How we are going to do it? So whenever a VPC is getting created as part of AWS, a main route table gets created. So as part of that main route table, whenever we are creating an internet gateway, okay, we have to create a route table entry in that main route table. So we are going to do that by using the Terraform resources. So let's go ahead and get started. So uh, let's start with the basic setup. So first we will create provider files and version file. So let me jump to the <coughs> over here. Let me create a folder, vpc underscore gateway. As part of this folder, I will create two files. One would be providers.tf and another would be versions.tf. So guys, as you can see, we have created provider and versions.tf file. Now let's start the configuration with provider.tf file. <clears throat> so guys, as part of this provider.tf file, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to mention what is the provider that we are going to use as part of Terraform. So we are going to use the provider AWS and this provider that we are using. So the resources that we are going to deploy, we are going to deploy that resources in US East, East one region. Now, the shared credential file, what is this file? So whenever you install a AWS CLI, after installing the AWS CLI, when you configure AWS CLI to a specific profile by providing AWS credential of a specific user to deploy your resources, that is a programmatic access, a, a file would be created over there. So we are directly referencing to that file and from that file it will automatically pick the AWS credential for us to deploy to the AWS resources. Now uh, let me go ahead and save this file. <clears throat> so let's move to the version part. So as part of version what I am going to do is I am going to define Terraform version over here. So uh, what I am going to do uh, I am defining over here is that the version of Terraform should be greater than or is equal to 0.1. So let's save it again. Now let's see what's next so let's go ahead and create our virtual private cloud so for doing that what i will do i will create one new file say save this file so guys as part of this file i am going to use the official documentation so whenever guys you are writing something make sure that you use uh of official documentation of Terraform, that is Terraform registry, to understand what all things you need to do. So right now I am on AWS official documentation. So over here guys, uh, this is the basic usage where you can uh, define the CIDR block. So now whenever you are defining uh, the resource in Terraform, you need to make sure that you are well aware of the arguments and the attributes. Now I will help you know that how these are going to come into picture. So for example, right now if you see all these arguments over here is optional. So whenever you go to the creation of any resource, just try with this parameter that is mandatory to understand whether there is any mandatory parameter or not, uh, uh, not parameter, argument or not that needs to be added. If it is required, then you have to put that. So as per our case, what we are, we are going to define is we are just going to define a CIDR block instance tenancy and we have to enable the DNS support and DNS host names. So let me just go ahead and add that over here. So guys, I have added that over here. So as part of this, you can see this is the resource name that is AWS VPC as part of our official documentation. So the resource name is AWS VPC, a resource type, and this is the resource Terraform resource name that is going to get created, which is custom VPC. And within this, whatever you see over here, these are all arguments that we have defined along with the values over here. Now, apart from that, I have also added a tag where I have kept the same name as the resource name as part of this resource creation in AWS. So let's go ahead and see what's our next step. So now we have to deploy an AWS Internet Gateway. 
that is our part two. So in that, what I am going to do is let me go ahead and create a new file, Internet Gateway .tf. Once I have created that file again, I what I would do is I will go to the official documentation. As part of official documentation, I will just write AWS Internet Gateway Terp. So that is done. So once I do that, you can see it is created. Now the resource type is AWS Internet Gateway. And over here, you have to uh, provide VPC and tags. So over here, you can see there are only three arguments and none of, none of them are mandatory. All are uh, just optional argument. So right now, what we're going to do is we are going to use the basic one with the VPC ID. Now, let me go ahead and jump to the browser. And as part of this browser, let me add the internet gateway. So I have added my internet gateway over here. So guys, over here, you need to understand the concept of interpolation. What is interpolation? So uh, you are, uh, for example, if you have to refer to any resource, how you can do that? So as part of AWS VPC, the resource tab that you're creating is AWS VPC, right? Now, as part of AWS Internet Gateway creation, we have to associate the VPC ID with this Internet Gateway. So for that, what we are going to do is, we are actually uh, doing interpolation to get the ID of that VPC, which is going to get created. Now, what is this ID? This ID is nothing but the argument that I was talking about. If I go back to the official documentation, so guys, previously to create the resource, we are using argument. Now to refer to the properties of that resource, we are using attributes over here. So in attributes, these are the defined attributes from this, you can use any of them and align it based as per your requirement that you want to do. So let me jump back to the browser. So over here, you can see this is the resource type that is AWS VPC. It's a resource name. So over here, you can see resource type, resource name dot then dot is the attribute so it is going to fetch the vpc id and it is going to provide it to this resource while it is getting created now let's go ahead and see what's our third step so as part of third step now what we are we have done till now so we have written code where we are creating one vpc and we are creating one internet gateway now we have to associate them together so that for doing that what we will have to do is whenever you create a vpc at that time, a main route table is getting created. Now, in that main route table, when you need to add a route for that, you have to define it explicitly. So, for example, so if you have to add the default, so you can write AWS default route table of Terraform. So as part of this documentation, guys, if you go over here, what you can see is there is a default route table. So in this default route table, you have to give the default route table ID. So as I said, whenever uh, we are going to create a VPC, it is going to create a main route table automatically. So let's go to the attributes. And over here, you can see a main route table ID. You can fetch it from here. And you can pass it by using interpolation and provide it to this route table so that the entry of that specific route can be created over here. So let me go ahead <clears throat> by referencing this. I have added this. So guys, now what you can see is we have created AWS default route table. This is the type of resource. This is the resource name. Now in the default route table ID, what I have done is I have used the same interpolation. This is with uh, resource type. This is resource name. And over here, what you can see is main route table. This is nothing, but this is the attribute that has been defined over here that we can use now going back over here so as you can see that is how after defi defining the default route table id i have to add the route so the route that i am going to add over here is for that i have mentioned the cider block that any and the gateway id so for gateway id guys again i have to use i have used uh, interpolation so aws internet gateway if you go in this resource igw okay above itself so this is the resource type this is the resource name and we are fetching the id that needs to be passed as part of this uh, route table association that we have created so let me go ahead and save it now so as you can see we have actually uh, done all three steps now as part of a confirmation what we can do is i will just go ahead and create one output file so that would be output dot t so guys, as part of this file, what we would be doing is, uh, 
for example to understand what vpc id is getting created uh, what is the uh, what whatever properties uh, arguments that we have defined is it added correctly sometimes we can use uh, for that uh, outputs to check so whenever we run terraform apply and terraform plan it tries to give us uh, the output of that specific resources uh, arguments that we have defined so over here what i'm going to do is so let's go ahead and check for our vpc in vpc we are going to check the vpc id so over here i have used the attribute id over here i have used the attribute unable dns support and another is dns hostname so these are all attributes okay we are calling them by using interpolation now that was for internet gateway now let's create one output for the vpc oh uh, sorry uh, that is for vpc id let's create one for internet gateway so let me save it now let me do one thing okay so there is one error over here you can see it is showing red that means i have not closed it now it's okay so let me just go ahead and jump over here so guys why i am doing it from a separate terminal you might have that question the, the answer for that question is if i am going to use a terminal over here it will be very small and not properly visible that is the reason i am using a separate terminal but yes you can just go ahead over here and you can create a new terminal and you can run your commands over here also now as part of this uh, okay cd dot dot okay. so i am already part of this so what we are going to do next now so as our all files are getting uh, all files are created now we have to init initialize the terraform in it in that specific folder for creating the terraform supporting files so let me just go ahead and run terraform in it so it will initialize the backend and it will find the latest version as per uh, the versions that i have defined as part of the versions.tf file so you can see it is has actually done that so if you see over here now so there is one folder created dot terraform in that you will see all the dependencies and all it has brought in and one log.hcl file now let me just go ahead and run the second command that is terraform format so terraform format we usually use because many times when we write the code there is some issue with the indentation sometimes it gives error while we are uh, doing terraform apply so for that issue as a prerequisite we uh, use it so let me uh, go over here okay so let me uh, go to here this and run for you terraform format so this will format all the files under this folder after that what i'm going to do is i am going to run the third command that is terraform plan so terraform plan is usually like a, a, a validate action which will tell us that what kind of resource we are creating and when you are running terraform plan many a times you will get the error if you have written something wrong or defined some property uh, inappro inappropriately so let me just run terraform plan so if the out there is output that means the code is correct okay so, so guys as you can see the code is correct it is uh, showing you that it is creating three resources so as part of this plan this is the main output see plan three to add that, that means it is going to create three resources zero to change and zero to destroy that means right now as we are creating three it is going to create three resources that is defined over here that is aws custom vpc then igw and the third resource would be this now let me go down and show you the outputs so guys over here you can see the outputs in this you cannot see the gateway id and vpc id the reason for that is it is not yet created so for that what we are going to do is right now let me clear the screen and let me apply terraform apply auto approve so when i run this command this will deploy so let's go ahead and see so guys as you can see the custom vpc is getting created Yes, VPC is still creating. VPC creation is completed. It has created Internet Gateway and association is done. And now you can see in the as part of your output that this is your Internet Gateway ID and this is your VPC ID. And the unable DNS hostname and support it was uh, before also visible. Now uh, let's go ahead and check in the AWS console whether uh, the things that we have created is it visible or not. I go let me go to VPC over here you guys you can see custom VPC is created okay. and if I click on this just take this VPC let's see so guys you can see 
DNS host name is unable. That is one argument that we have defined. DNS resolution we have defined, and the CIDR that we have defined is also been added over here properly. And this is the main route table which is associated with this VPC. So let me do one thing before going to main route table. Let me take you to the internet gateway and let's see if the internet gateway is created. So yes, guys, the internet gateway is also created. This is our internet gateway, and over here in VPC ID you can see the VPC ID and the custom VPC. So the reason for this is this is actually associated with the VPC. So the association is successful. Now let me go to the route tables. Now, so guys, this is associate VPC. So this is our route table that you are seeing. This is the main route table which gets created automatically as part of your main route table creation. Okay. So right now I am having two uh, VPCs in my account. One is uh, default VPC and another is the custom VPC that we have created. So this is for custom VPC. How you can verify that? You can see over here. This is the this is created for custom VPC. Okay. Now if I click on the checkbox and click on routes, you can see guys the destination and the Internet Gateway Association route we have created. So that is what uh, we try to achieve as part of this part one tutorial. So thank you very much guys for watching this video if you like this video don't forget to like share and subscribe if you have any questions don't forget to put that questions in the comment section below i will try my level best to answer all of your questions so i will see you guys very soon in part two thank you